In years past, the city was primarily responsible for the sidewalks in New York City, meaning if there was a sidewalk that was broken or defective and dangerous and someone fell and was injured as a result of that broken sidewalk, the city was the responsible party. And then a number of years ago, the law was changed. And when the law changed, it largely shifted responsibility from the city to private landowners who were adjacent or next to the area of sidewalk that was dangerous. And so for big buildings, for commercial buildings, for apartment buildings and the like, if there's a sidewalk adjacent to that premises that is broken, defective, or dangerous, it's that private landowner who's next to the sidewalk that's dangerous who's the responsible party. They have the obligation to make the sidewalk safe, and they're responsible if it's unsafe for an unreasonable period of time and someone gets hurt. There are certain instances still under the current law where the city of New York is responsible for a dangerous or defective sidewalk. That can be the case if it is a one or two family home that's owner occupied that is adjacent to the portion of sidewalk that causes the injury. It can be the case in other instances where the city of New York occupies, owns, or manages the property adjacent to where the sidewalk is. Other scenarios where the city of New York may be responsible for a dangerous or defective sidewalk is where the city, through its employees and its agencies, basically caused or created the dangerous condition to exist by some affirmative act working on the area, a construction site, perhaps there's a tree well nearby, uh, something going on at or near the defective portion of sidewalk that the city's involved in, that they do work on, that they do construction on, that can give rise to a circumstance where the city is responsible for the dangerous or defective portion of sidewalk.